Hey there everyone, happy Monday and welcome to your Fruit Loops. This week I am in Minneapolis as you can see. <laughs> I'm supposed to be putting more things in those boxes but I'm really bad at packing. It's just overwhelming. There's so much. I have just so much in this art studio alone. I don't know what to do with it and I can't get rid of any of it. It's just hard. I need help. Does anyone want to help me move? This week we are talking about our birthdays and our horoscopes or what astrological signs we are and whether or not we believe that they play a part in our lives, like if we think they're accurate. I didn't used to put a lot of uh, faith into horoscopes or compatibility within signs and whatever. I never really thought about it. I've done a little research on my sign and I feel like maybe I'm more of an Aries than I thought. <laughs> so let me share this with you. Uh, my birthday is April 16th, which was just a few weeks ago. That makes me an Aries, which apparently is a masculine cardinal sign. And yeah, I'll take that. Something I thought was extremely interesting was it said there's exactly one thing that is essential to my nature, and that is being straightforward. And I think that anyone who knows me would be able to say that I'm absolutely honest and to the point and direct and all of these things that apparently I am only because I was born on the right day. Positive Aries traits are as follows. I can see it, I guess. But it's always hard to admit your weaknesses, but there are a lot of negative traits that also seem to possibly apply to me as well in the Aries realm, and I'll put them here. Don't worry, I only picked four of those. Another negative that I thought was really interesting was it did say that we are surprisingly naive and trusting, which is probably true. I do tend to trust people like completely with like blind ambition <laughs> until they do anything wrong and then I never talk to them again, ever. The statement associated with this sign is I am, which I love for many reasons because yes, I am. But it's also one of my favorite Sylvia Plath lines ever, when she says that she listened to the old bray of her heart, I am, I am, I am. And a friend of mine recently got I am, I am, I am tattooed on herself. You might know her. Tanya Lesloop is her YouTube name. And she just got it tattooed on her arm, and it's super awesome. And like just when I thought I couldn't like her more, totally like her more. I also didn't know that you have a gemstone associated with your sign. And, and it's just different than a birthstone somehow. I don't know. One of the sites tried to explain this, and I'm still kind of like, what? But mine is the diamond, which I knew was it's my birthstone, so I'm, I guess I'm confused. But it it's good. It said a lot of interesting things about diamonds. I do always wear my diamond. It's one of the few pieces of jewelry that I wear from the ring that I designed. But I didn't realize that it could possibly be saving my life because apparently it protects you against severe disease. And in the Middle Ages, Queen Elizabeth I was given a diamond to wear to keep the plague from her. So. Um, in my personal relationships, I am frank, direct, candid, and I'm enthusiastic and generous as a friend, liable to have a high sex drive. Just, that's, that's really true. That's, that's true. So, they had me at that, really. It's like, oh, there's an explanation for this. I don't believe in lesbian bed death. Some people do. I don't date them. Also, something that was really pertinent was it says a negative effect of this sun sign is that you could sometimes unknowingly make it hard for others to relate to you as you really are. I may have experienced that. Yes, I fit most of that pretty much to the T, so you can't really not believe in it. But as far as compatibility goes, I mean, I think that that's still up for debate. I do look back and see that most of the people I dated are people I was actually compatible with. I've dated a couple people that within hours of meeting me have told me they would never date me just because I'm an Aries, like based just off of that. And I was always like, what? Why? And then they totally dated me for like years. You know who you are, all of you. Anyone who says they won't date you because of your sign is ultimately going to date the shit out of you. <laughs> and they're gonna love it. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Hope you guys have a great week. The end. Love, Clyde. Driving around to three o'clock in the morning. 
I try not to see the time I know of a long way to get to where I'm going But I push that out of my mind But it's good to understand where you are standing And it's good to know where you've been And it's good to work through all the tough times And let the lessons sink in I think we're able to let go of more baggage Than we give ourselves credit for And the sun I say hello in the morning time Makes me believe that more and more 